Although Steve White, Steve Art say no. And well, I just watched the trailer for Avatar, The Way of Water, I think that's the name of it. Um, yeah, I still don't know why this film exists. Um, now, I watched the first film in the cinema, I think twice. I know I saw it with a friend, and I think I saw it a second time with him because I'd agreed to see it with him, but I'd already seen it because I didn't want to wait. Um, and it was amazing to look at. The 3D was amazing. Um, but... It wasn't an amazing story, um, and I just don't know why they're doing a sequel. And I watched the trailer, and I have no idea what this film is about or why it exists. Um, aside from just the visual spectacle of it, um, they didn't explain anything in the trailer. It's like, okay, so this guy did his did his did somebody die? I don't know. Like, it's like he's I think he's got a daughter. And he's raising her without the mother. And I'm like, I don't remember what happened in the last film. I just remember there were lots of beautiful plants that were made out of light. Um, and that's all I really remember. Um, so, yeah, they, they kind of need to not assume that everyone is a fan and has just recently watched the last film because that last film came out a long time ago because I, I saw sort of a friend who left the country like years before, the you-know-what, and that was nearly three years ago, so it's got to be like five or ten years ago or something, or, or more, I don't know how long, and they're doing three of them or something, or five of them or something, or they're doing four more sequels, so they're doing five altogether. Um, I, I'm getting that James Cameron has an environmental message in this film and that purpose, and I'm sort of for that, but um, I'm not sure anyone else is. I don't really think anyone wants to go watch a film about a bunch of aliens fighting for environmental causes, because it's just not what the American public cares about. They don't they don't, they don't care about anything. Uh, so I, I don't think this film's going to do well. Um, I think this is going to be one of James Cameron's first bombs. Um, I don't know if he's ever had a bomb before. I, I, I'm just trying to think. Most of his films have done well or been absolute epics, like Titanic and the first Avatar. But um, that was that was a gimmick. And that's why I don't understand. I don't know how he's managed to get funding for these films, this film series, based on merit when it's really just a gimmick film. People went to see it because they wanted to see the 3D. They, it was just like this new magical 3D, and that's what people saw it for. They didn't care about the story, and they didn't keep. They didn't watch it for the story. They didn't keep watching it for the story. No one's going back. No one's asking for. They want to see more of this, 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 this story. So I just, I'm just like. I was kind of thinking they must have some reason for doing this. There was something, and I'm like, I'm looking at the trail. I'm like, there's nothing. It's just um, same thing we've seen before. Just a little personal drama and that here and there between different um, aliens, and I guess they fight the humans and you know the machines at some point because they still. I don't even remember what happened in the first. Episode. I don't even remember why. The, the humans were trying to... Um, I don't remember what they were doing. So see, this is the problem. I watched the film. It was amazing to look at. And I forgot about the story because I didn't care. It wasn't that interesting. I haven't revisited it. I don't know if I've watched it on Blu-ray or DVD. I know I own it. I don't think I watched it. And I'm probably not going to watch it before watching this. And there's a lot of people who are going to be in the same boat. They might, on impulse, go see it. But they're not going to just watch the last film. So they're not going to remember anything. So, I just smell disaster, and, and I'm just like, this could be one of the worst, like, disasters in Hollywood, having five, four sequels or whatever already basically paid for and planned out for a film that no one wanted a sequel to. It's going to be really fascinating to see how this goes. Um, but everyone else is saying, it's James Cameron. You know, no one sort of thought the first film would do well, and I'm like, yeah, but the first film was a gimmick. They had a gimmick. No one cares about 3D anymore. Um, part of that was because they didn't use the, re the correct lights and when you went to see a 3D film it needed stronger lighting and they didn't want to pay for the stronger the bulbs or the electricity so you said these really dull grey films and the 3D wasn't as vibrant as it should have been and the colours were awful I just remember thinking I don't want to go see a 3D film they're always grey and I didn't understand why now I know why now have they fixed that problem? does anyone care? I mean I still have my 3D glasses I haven't used them in a decade? I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. I just I just was not impressed by the trailer. I was like, where, where is, 
where is the the special thing where is the the, the what, what what makes me want to go see this film yes there's some amazing visuals and that's a couple of shots that looked amazing but that's it like there's another two hours of of stuff that I don't care about <laughs> I'm gonna go feel free to share like comment subscribe let me know what you think it'll be interesting to see how this plays out a lot of people are betting against James Cameron and other people saying you should never do that but um, I just don't see this film lighting a fire under anyone and and being able to carry another three or four films I just don't I don't even know how they fooled people into funding this one I guess they didn't understand a lot of people who fund movies actually don't understand the movies or why they work um, it's kind of sad but um, we'll see what happens